is the part 2 of Christmas Carol. Can't wait for the following stories. Faster to grab your snacks. And here is the part 2. Soon after, a light caught his eye. When Mr. Scrooge opened his eyes, a child ghost appeared. It was the ghost from last year's New Year's Eve. Mr. Scrooge was stunned. Hi, now we will take a little trip to the past. Oh, what's happening? Help! The ghost took Mr. Scrooge back to his childhood years. And there it was, Mr. Scrooge as a child, with his friends in the schoolyard decorating the tree like a Christmas tree. The kids were having so much fun. You could tell child Mr. Scrooge was very happy. Uh. Later on, the ghost took him to his first boss's house when he was a young man. They were having a great time with his boss and his family. Mr. Scrooge's wife was also there. Together they were dancing and having so much fun. And at last, the ghost took Mr. Scrooge back to another New Year's Eve, which was in the past, but later on in his life. His wife began to cry. Before we used to have so much fun. You used to care for me and love me, but now all you love is money. I have no room in your life anymore. I think we should part. Not being able to stand the sight of this, Mr. Scrooge asked the ghost to take him back. And suddenly, he was home. This time round, a giant green-coloured ghost appeared in front of him. Now Mr. Scrooge was even more scared. It was this year's New Year's ghost. Come with me. Let's see what's happening this New Year's Eve. Before he had any time to refuse, he found himself in his helper's home. In his poor helper's home was a very simple dinner table. Mr. Scrooge thought that everyone in the family hated him. Then he saw that this actually wasn't the case. His helper stood up and started to talk. I want to thank Mrs. Scrooge for giving me the opportunity to work and for paying me on time. We are able to eat because of him. Even though Mr. Scrooge was nasty to his helper, at every chance he got, he was amazed at how thankful he was. Later he noticed his helper's sick child. The kid was sitting in his wheelchair at the top corner of the table. He looked thin and sick. Mr. Scrooge was very sad for the child. This child is very ill and hasn't got much time left. After hearing this, Mr. Scrooge's sadness grew bigger. Later on, the ghost took him to his nephew's home. All his family was having so much fun eating. They even had an empty seat waiting for him. Wish Uncle was here with us. Mr. Scrooge did not expect to see this. He always thought that his whole family had hated him. At that moment, the ghost told him that it was time for him to die and revealed two kids standing under his jacket. It was a girl and a boy. But with their skinny figures and scary faces, they looked more like two old skeletons than kids. Attention to these kids. They represent greedy and unconcerned people. When it is time for you to die, Pay special attention to the boy. The giant green ghost also disappeared. Mr. Scrooge did not quite understand what the ghost was trying to say. But suddenly, he startled with the sound of the clock. It was midnight. This time, there appeared a darker and scarier ghost in front of him. This one was the ghost of the future. He brought Mr. Scrooge to his own funeral. People were gathered at his grave in a graveyard. 
Mr. Scrooge was shocked when he saw his face on his gravestone. He saw that people were talking behind his back and how they were relieved that he was finally gone. That moment, Mr. Scrooge realized that over the years, he had become an even worse person and nobody liked him anymore. People who owed him money were happy with his death. And he saw his helper's son's grave. Unlike his, his son's grave was full of flowers. He could not stand to see it anymore. He asked the ghost to take him back. Please take me back. Now I understand. I'm going to change the way I live. I'm not going to be that stingy old grumpy man. I promise you. Suddenly he was home. Luckily, the time wasn't 12 yet. His dog began to bark. Mr. Scrooge noticed it was still that same day. He still had time to change some things. With great happiness, he jumped out onto the street. First, he visited the butcher. He bought a big turkey and asked if he could take it to his helper's home. Then he bought a toy and asked if they could take it to his helper's son. Then he ran and went to his brother's house. He joined the dinner his nephew had invited him to. That night, they all had a great New Year's Eve together. Later on, he made sure his helper's son got the treatment he needed. He treated him as if he was his own son. He helped the poor, he got along with people better, and treated them with warmth. He was never rude, selfish or stingy, and nothing was ever going to be the same. Hi kids, do you find the story interesting? The moral lesson of the story is to teach us we must always be generous and kind to the people who need help. Selfishness will only bring sadness to the people who love us. It's because if you are selfish, all you care about is only yourself and the money you earn. One kindness can bring lots of happiness to the world. It's our duty to spread love and kindness. From now on, let us treat people with kindness and love like how Mrs. Good does. Every one of us has the second chance to be a good person. So this is how the story ends. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the movies.